Hey Divi Nation, welcome to a brand new installment of our ongoing Divi Design Initiative, where each week we give away a brand new free Divi layout pack straight from our design team to you. And this week we have for you a brand new software layout pack we think you'll enjoy. It's going to help take that next software website to the next level. Let's check it out. So if you're looking to set up a website for a software company or really any tech company, you'll definitely want to check out this software layout pack. This layout pack contains really unique layouts and they're packed with custom design and colorful, unique graphics and icons, which are perfect for any website in the tech niche. And you can use it to promote software features and products and documentation and so much more. Plus, all the images are free for you to use as well. So use it to get that next software website up and running in no time. All right, now join me in this next part of the video where I show you how you can use this new software layout pack on your own Divi website. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is make sure that you authenticate your Elegant Themes subscription so that you can have access to all of our free pre-made layout packs without any problems. So to do that, go over to Divi theme options and go ahead and click the updates tab and make sure you have your username and API key entered. And once you do, make sure you click save changes. And after that, you should have access to all of our free pre-made layout packs without any problems. And all of those pre-made layout packs can be found within the Divi builder as you build your page. So let's go ahead and get started by creating all of our new pages. And then we'll add each of those corresponding pre-made layouts to those pages. Let's go ahead and add a new page by going to Pages, Add New. We'll start with our home page. So give your home page a title. And then click to use the Divi Builder. You want to select the option to choose a pre-made layout. This will bring up the load from library pop-up. Go ahead and find or search for the software layout pack and select it. Here you'll see a preview of all the different layouts included in the pack on the right. Go ahead and select the one that you want and go ahead and click use this layout. And once the layout has been loaded to the page, uh, don't forget to save or publish the page. And then you'll want to continue the same process to create all of the remaining pages that you want and then add those corresponding pre-made layouts to each of those pages as well. And once all of those pages have been created with those new pre-made layouts added to them, we are ready for the next step, which is to create a primary menu for our website. To do that, go over to Appearance, Menus. Go ahead and give the menu a name and then click Create Menu. On the left, you'll see a list of all the pages that we've created. Go ahead and select all those and add them to the menu. And under the menu structure area, you can organize the menu items however you like. And then when you're ready, make sure to set the display location as primary menu and then click Save Menu. After your menu has been created, you're ready for the final step, which is to create a static page for your website. To do that, go over to Settings, Reading. Under your home page displays, go ahead and select a static page. And then under the home page, go ahead and select the home page that we've created and then click Save Changes. And after that, your new website is up and running with the new software layout pack. All right, that's it for this video. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. We sure do hope that you love the new software layout pack. And don't forget to subscribe to our blog newsletter, our YouTube channel, and like us on Facebook and make sure to click to get those notifications. That way we can let you know every single time we have something new for you, like the next big freebie. All right. Thanks again for watching. We look forward to seeing you in our next video.